Welcome back to part 14 of the Creo car tutorial. Okay, where we're up to is we just need to make a fix on this surface here. Uh, this surface should be matching this line. So I'll just delete that, delete that and rebuild it. So when when you first delete a surface, it usually deletes a the trim bit. So just go through delete again. Alright, so when it's, it's all red here, that means the surface uh, has a relationship with that. Uh, Sometimes we just have to rebuild the surface because that's, a, that's just a problem. It can take a long time, but there's no way around it. We sometimes just need to rebuild it. So I delete that surface, but there's a, there's a red light here that means there's a problem. So... Um, just click that and we sometimes got to delete and rebuild them click a link and it's still red so we we'll do that again rebuild again regenerate again and it's on green so that's fine all right here yeah, that's fine because we don't need to delete the other bits okay right now what I'm going to do is make a copy of this curve make a copy and move it across ok I want to move it closer to this point just about there and that's good so accept that I'm going to move this point up to here, drag it to the end point and check the top view that the curves are fine. Check the right view as well. Okay, so this curve here should be slightly higher. It's just a horizontal, it's just slightly higher like that. Okay, that's good. Except this curve here, and that, that this curve here travel on that line before, but this time we need to make it stick to that one and bring it to the end of this side and check the right view okay let's move this curve up slightly just about there and click that line check the front view or back view add a slight curve to this line so it's not flat and boring so this is make it look more round so it looks more comfortable and easy to the eye <laughs> all right so let's make this surface so we, there's uh, four curves up for us to make that surface and you're gonna click this one so now the surface travels up and meets this curve there just as we wanted and there you go that's that's for that surface all right i just need to rebuild this surface here I'll do that quickly. I'm sure you you we've done that a few times. So <laughs> you should should be you should be should be confident in building surface yourself now. So we've gone through all the important techniques. This point here needs to connect on that corner there and make the surface. So we can only create a surface when there's four curves. If there's five, that's a problem. So we might have to build two patches. And that's it. I'll do a quick render and see how that looks. All 
Okay, there you go. That's fine. See, this stuff is they're all joined together. You, I'll, I'll do a high quality rendering. So go to rendering setup and change that to maximum and click render. Okay, so this is the maximum high quality render. As you can see, most of the surface uh, looks more clean. The intersection intersection here will be a um, the backlight, so it will cover that bit up. So we don't we don't need to fix that much either. So uh, yep. So there's some issue with um, how the models connected, but Sometimes you just need to rebuild the surface and it will look fine. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and build the, the front window here. And I'll create the, the tires. Okay, so the first step, I'm gonna trim I'm going to trim the bonnet first. Let's make the top plane active. Alright, let's leave the floor plane active and go to curve. Bring the view forward. Turn on Y display. And draw a curve right here. Um, we don't want that on the surface. It's this curve is just anywhere, and just draw it there. Uh, the surface is cut off there. We want to draw it past that. So accept that and put on degree five. There's a sharp corner here, so that is problematic. Make this point go to the middle. And make this uh, constraint vertically like that. So edit your lines and make a match the blueprint. Okay, so draw like that. Bring the three points closer together and should match the blueprint. Okay, so bring the shaded view forward. Drop this curve onto here and trim it out. Trim. Okay. Okay, let's draw the line for the windshield. Activate the middle plane. Okay, so there's a curve right here. Just extend it a bit further away. Accept that and edit the points. Bring the control points forward. And that's the first curve of the window. Now make a copy of this curve, switch it to front view. What you can do, you go curve and copy. Drag it down slightly. Very slightly, so we don't want to make move it too much. This point is too connected, so we'll move it out and should be right here. 
and just attach this curve onto that. Okay, let's bring up the top view and draw a curve here. Accept the old curve and create a new curve. This curve is going to sit here and it extends across. Um, it extends near the pillar there. Accept that and go edit. Switch the control points on. This should be on horizontal, vertical tangent. Okay, it's on horizontal now. All right. All right, that's not right. So we just go make it natural, bring it across, switch the plane, accept that, switch the plane to front view, and now go into the edit the curve. You okay? Try horizontal now. Yep, that's good. So go to point, put it into the middle. One more thing, so switch to the right view, bring that curve up. Try try put this curve Hold control to select both points and bring it up. So try put this curve where the end sits, where the edge of the window is, because we want that we want it to be right on the edge of the window. Drag this point onto the line and make sure it sits on the all right that's good and accept okay just check again this curve should be let's bring up the top view make this curve closer to the end of this point just around there Bring it to right view. All right, and we've got to make one more curve for the window. So the window is a bit complicated. What I'll do, I'll just make a copy of. Okay, select this curve here. Make a copy and move it down slightly so it's not moving unlink so we accept that make it make it unlink and try move again okay it's not moving downwards so just try another view i don't know why that's a problem they just they should fix that Bring down slightly and accept that. Go edit the curve and this time make this curve actually okay let's bring this curve up here make a meet the line on the bottom there Bring the right view up.
and just it's really important if you put this line right on the edge of the edge of the, the pillar curve so do check the front view as well always double check all right i'm just gonna go quickly create the front surface there and see how it looks let's go surface Yeah, I think there will be a problem because there's a bend here, it won't look well. Alright, won't seem to make the surface. Okay, I'll just, what I'll do, I'll just use a two rail here. And use this curve as a profile. So that will let me, and I'll delete this bit here. Is that the curve I made? Delete that one. Actually, not that one. This one. Okay, there you go. Okay, there's a gap there. That's no good. Alright, we'll try a different way. So, make a copy of this. Copy. Accept that. And go to edit and. Is this attached? So it should be attached on. And move it to the end. Select the two points. Make sure it's attached. Hold control to select both points and move it to the end. And bring it to the front view. Okay, so you may need to bring this line across as well. So go to front view. No, put it about there. Okay, check down the front view as well. And now we're ready to make the surface, so it should be closer to the edge now. So what you want to do is just create this mirror, I mean the front window, close to the edge of the surface as you can. And there you go, and I'll do one more thing before we finish this part. Just draw another curve here. One more here. And make that surface. Accept that, create the surface to close that gap out. And there you go. If you want, you can add a material, just add a black material to the window. Click OK, and there you go. So I'll just do a quick mirror view, visual mirror. So that's the car right there. So that's the end of this part. Make sure you like the video and subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you later.